Hi, my name is Stefan Pus, Acoustic Engineer, and I will explain you why there are different hammer tips by doing model analysis. They are soft and hard and very hard tips. What are they for? Very important thing to have to understand it. That's why I'm explaining it here right now just for you. If you open one of these hammers, you will see the paper, how the sensitivity is, and first grip goes to the hammer. You can see there is one tip. This is a plastic vinyl tip. This is a standard which can work for a lot of reasons, for a lot of applications. As you can hear, it's quite hard. Okay, But there are tips like this one here. If I put it on, it's like a condom. <laughs> uh, it's rubber on top and it's safer now. And you hear, the sound is different. It's the same desk, same spot, same hammer, but it sounds completely different. Lower frequency comes up. And this is what the hammer tip is about, which frequency you want to stimulate. Okay? Um, to understand, if you have a low frequency motion, let me see, um, on the playground. You know, there are kids on the playground in the swing, they say, yeah, up and down, up and wow. It's about half hertz swinging system. Okay? Um, the kids say, hey, Bob, hey, Dad, give me a, give me a hip, give me some energy. Yeah? I want to go up. Yeah? Well, the engineer would say, okay, this swinging system needs an impulse. Impulse is mass multiplied with velocity. So I need something hard with mass. And he goes there and maybe he has a baseball <laughs> hitter. Yeah. And he stands there, okay, kid, now the energy will come. Think, okay, finger up, finger up, okay, hold on. Daddy's coming, yeah? And we go for velocity, yeah. like this. Okay, um, not the good way to treat the children, but just from the physics side, what do you expect the swing will do? Would it go like, whoa, moving up and swing with half hertz, quite perfect in its first mode? Not at all. What's happening is, if it had a hard impact, there's a wood hitting another wood, <laughs> it goes like, high frequency content will be in there. It will not go up. There's not enough energy for that. But the energy goes in this high frequency effect up there. If I want to have energy at the low frequency, what I do just by my native instinct, I stand there and say, okay, hold on. I'm soft, hands soft, everything is soft, and we go like, whoa. Yeah, this is a long motion, contact, 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 all the way up. No? in the motion, going in, and the energy is coming in, coming back, and again, yeah. Huh? Then we go for the lowest low frequency content in the swinging mode, okay? I can show it how it works on my favorite here, <laughs> my lawnmower. Um, if I attached one of the hammer, I'll use the Atem Suite 9 because there's a nice tool to find the perfect setup for each kind of hammer tip, and so we can see which frequency we are addressing to. So there we are. So which was quite a hard plastic tip and we see the configuration is done and we see we go for 16 kilohertz sampling which is quite a high sampling rate for accelerometers because we have this hard tip high frequency contact in there. When it leads us we can here see the outer spectrum which gives us the information at which frequency energy has come in. If you see the relation of course the energy to higher frequency always get lost. Yeah, but we see how far we can get. And we can see, well, we can easily go to 3000 Hertz and maybe up to seven or eight kilohertz, we can still work with that. Another effect is that we have a, a frequency resolution of 15 Hertz. This is fine if you're looking at four kilohertz. It's four kilohertz or 4,015 kilohertz, doesn't matter. Yeah? But if you want to concentrate on lower frequency, let's talk about 50 Hertz. Yeah? Then we want to divide not 50 from 65 hertz, we want to divide 50 from 52 and 54. Yeah? So we need a higher resolution. So this is the first information, oh, we'll go for a softer tip. And that's what we do, we put on again my rubber here. Okay. We go on reset configuration. And now we hit it with soft tip. Okay, let's see. Now he's going for a sampling rate of 3 kilohertz and it leads us to a frequency 
resolution of 3 Hz. So it's much better, 5 times better than 15 Hz. It's quite good. And we can see here the frequency range we get energy in goes up to 1200, or maybe 1500, not 8 like before. So we go on a lower frequency range, but this is with more energy inside. Okay? Let's go even deeper. <laughs> So um, I check out, let's see, this tool you need, you can release these tips here. Don't miss it. I will put it in here. Okay, this must be these two kinds. There's also, in uh, one way is it, um, a really hard tip. Just want to show it that it is there. It's so small, you should put it always in a bag, otherwise it's get lost. Um, this tip can also be screwed in here. And as you can see, this is pure metal. I just put it here. Ah, it can damage the desk. <laughs> this is for extreme high frequency content. It's for this guy, don't need. Yeah, But just to know, it's there, okay? Um, let's go for lower frequency because this is the problem of our lawnmower here. In the back, in the back, remember that? Okay, for, for lower frequency, you should have a bigger impact, okay? So um, quite good is that we have bigger issues here, like the green one, the red one <laughs> and the gray one. And they have different stiffness. You can feel it with your thumb. You don't need to look in any papers. You can see this is the softest one. Huh? Uh, this is the sensor of the force. This is the impact hammer. And this is your tip to take this side. Yeah? This, the force should be always, the force sensor should be between the tip and the hammer. Okay? What the hell is this one here? Yeah? Yeah, you can add an extra hammer, an extra mass to get more energy. It's an impulse, more mass. Yeah? So put an extra mass in here so there's more energy now in here. Boom. And you see, it's not puck anymore. Yeah? Before the table would say puck, now it's boom. Because you're only bringing the low frequency coming out of the desk. So this is extreme. And we're done. As you can see now, even go not 3 kilohertz, now 2 kilohertz sampling rate, and it leads us with this block size to 2 hertz sampling um, frequency resolution, which is quite good. But the disadvantage you can see, we can only reach up to uh, maybe 400 hertz, which is fine for this object, still we are interested up to maybe 200 hertz. For those of you who have experience with model analysis already, you will think, I'm not setting my frequency resolution by using a special hammer tip. No, that's not the way, no. It's just an effect. If I have a soft tip and an extra mass load on my hammer, my object will take more time to calm down. And this is causes the measurement time to be longer and therefore my frequency resolution rises. You can use a hard tip and rise your frequency resolution by setting the parameters for your analysis manually. This is an advanced level, so we do this in the next video, okay? For you, right now, as a rule of thumb, we like to have a hard impulse. That means a hard tip, because this brings us a wide range of frequency which we can analyze. But there are limits. If there are a lot of high frequency in there, they have a high level, big acceleration coming up and down, and not that high, like the low frequency, which need more energy to put in. That brings them to be nothing and we all concentrate on high frequency. So if you don't need the high frequency, cut this off and go more for lower frequency. You can check how good your signal is at low frequency range. Another thing is if you have a really hard tip, I mean the metal one, you can easily damage your object and then you are in trouble. We'll see you, bye.